Hey, welcome back, guys. So, you know, I usually do 4K versus Blu-ray. You know, it's fun. You guys get to see the differences. Now, we're going to be doing Bambox Horror against Zobi Horror Box. So, I believe these both should be June boxes, if I'm not mistaken. Honestly, I can't remember. Um, Zobi, quick, always quick. That I never have an issue with them. Bambox, sometimes slower. Uh, you know, whatever. We're not going to get into that. Really, what I want to do is, I've done Zobi boxes on this channel before. I've done Bam boxes on this channel before. Really, I kind of want to just compare them, so that way you guys can see. You know, oh, maybe I want to go with Zobi. Maybe I want to go with Bam box. Now, I will say, Bam box is stopping their production. I think they're just shutting down Bambox altogether. I think the owner wants to do something different. He said, uh, you know, whatever he's doing, you know, that's fine. It's, you know, it's his choice. It's his company, whatever he wants to do. So I think December, I think is the last box. So, you know, if you, you can still jump on for, I think another six ish months or so, five, six months. So either way, without further ado, I figured let's, you know, let's do Zobi first. I got them both cut open, so that way it's a little easier. I don't have to grab my knife or anything. This one, because it was so friggin' hot out, uh, the tape actually melted. So the, the tape was already off and the box was already to be open. So thank you, San Antonio, Texas Heat. Exciting. But let's get into this uh, blind opening. Just same thing with Bam Box. They're both going to be blind. I really honestly forget the properties. In both of them as well. I know I think Friday the 13th was in Bambox. Ah, I have no idea what's in Zobi. Honestly, I can't remember. I waited a while. I waited like two weeks to open up this. But either way, let's get... We're, we're not here to talk. We're here to open up boxes. So we're just going to open this up blindly. Sometimes they do t-shirts. Sometimes they don't. feels like there's a t-shirt on top. We're actually going to save that for the last. Because I just... I like their shirts. Their shirts are pretty awesome. So we have a pen. I think this way is going to be up, hopefully. But, all right, so, uh, no, actually it looks like it's, no, I had it right. And, all right, so this actually looks like a cabin in the woods. I don't know why I couldn't, I was just blanking on the actual movie itself. Chris Hemsworth, horror comedy, but there we go. It's going to focus. So it looks like it's just like a collection of the monsters, and it looks like I actually got the rare one. So, usually I don't get anything rare out of any of these boxes, so it's nice to get something like that. So, okay. Cool pin. You know, I like horror pins in general, so. All right, next thing up here, socks. Okay. So, we have Pennywise, It Socks. So, that's pretty cool. And they're like a uh, fluorescent, like kind of neon-ish, so I wonder if they glow in the dark. I don't know. It doesn't say anything on here, but either way, socks. Okay. You know, something I can use, something I can wear. And we have a sticker, which is pretty friggin' awesome. So, of course, Pennywise, when it looks like his face is kind of melting, and it just says Pennywise on there. So, okay, that's pretty cool. So, okay, so there's no art print. Usually they do an art print with this, but I think because we got the socks, I think that kind of just took its place. So, of course, I think, let's hopefully this side's up. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, okay. So, Jennifer Banco, I think it is. Yeah, Jennifer Banco from Texas Chainsaw 3, I believe that this is from. Um, not, not the greatest, but that's still cool. It's still cool to have her autograph. I don't have hers, so usually I only get these autographs from these boxes. I don't really go out of my way to get a lot of autographs and... You know, fingers crossed that I'm going to Texas Frightmare Weekend next year. So I'm pretty excited about that. But we have a spoiler card. We'll throw this over here. Ooh, almost forgot. We'll keep the spoiler card down here. We almost forgot the shirt. How dare me. Okay, so we'll do it this way. And bam. Oh, okay. I think this is the Evil, evil Dead Rise. Yeah, okay. That's pretty awesome, actually. So... We'll try and get a close up here. So we have her, you know, with the chainsaw, the hotel, not hotel, the apartment complex, you know, her as a demon, uh, spoilers, I guess, but her as a demon as well. So, and then the book at the bottom, I believe. 
Yeah, okay, and then a couple more demons underneath. So, okay, see, again, a shirt I can wear, socks I can wear. I have a cool autograph now. I have a pretty cool pin. And then I have, I have some horror stickers over here already, so cool horror sticker. And of course, okay, so this was July box, so BAM is going to be June box. This is July box, so of course, let's make sure this focuses for you. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. So this is the one I got, the rare one. This one, it looks like it has like the clown and the creepy like dead face pan person. Uh, here is the autographs right here, so I guess one's more rare. Oh, because one has actual uh, leather face in it, so we'll get, hopefully that'll zoom. Yeah, it looks like it's there. But yeah, so one actually has leather face in it, so that would've been cool to get, but, and then socks right here. Uh, looks like that's just a throw-in for the sticker, and then the shirt right here. Hopefully that focused, but it kind of didn't look like it. Okay, so they are black light um, socks too, so I don't know if they glow in the dark, but either way, they're cool. Whatever, I'll take it. Okay, so before we get into Bambox, definitely if you could, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, do all that fun stuff. I like doing these boxes. I probably won't do Bambox again after this one just because A, they're you know shutting down their business, and B, I really only get them when I get coupons for like 15, 15% off, or 50% off, where they're like 15 bucks. So, without further ado, let's open this up backwards so I can't see. We get paper, so let's get that out of there. And we have, okay, I'm gonna set this off to the side because it's something in a bag. I really don't remember the properties. Um, feels like a wooden, I don't even know. Let's see, all right, we'll hold it up here so you guys can see I'm just trying to get it out of a bag. Um, okay, so it's like a Ouija, a Ouija piece right here. So, okay. I mean, it's, you know, it's solid quality. Like it's actual, you know, nice wood. I get nice wood. I don't know what nice wood or bad wood is, but it's nice wood for all intents and purposes. And you know, you got the little looking glass right here so you can, so I'm assuming, what was the la that other movie that just came out? Ouija something, something. Okay, so, you know, a, a movie prop, you know, a piece of wood with some glass in it, but it's a movie prop, that's cool, that's cool. Let's see, we have a pin. I think this way is up, so there is that, hopefully that focuses, and yeah, okay, it looks like it's focusing at least, and I don't think I got the rare one, because I know sometimes they do like a glitter version of them, uh, but I think the Beyond, I think this is from, uh, like the, the blonde girl with like the eyes that like glow white, uh, I don't know, you guys could probably tell me in the comment section, but you know, we'll look at spoilers. I think Bambox still puts spoilers in there. But, okay, so Beyond, the Beyond pin, I think. That makes sense. I think that actually was one of the properties. Yeah, okay, so Friday the 13th, hopefully is the autograph. If not, I mean, I got an art print, so I'm assuming the art print's probably Friday the 13th. You know, fingers crossed for Kane Hodder, but I know he's tough to get. So, hopefully this is up, because it looks like the... It looks like it should be up, but okay. So that is actually pretty amazing. That's an awesome print. I feel like I'm definitely gonna have to get that framed and maybe even signed by who's left of the uh, the Jasons here. But yeah, I mean, you literally have every single movie. Like you have certain kills. You have uh, Jason X right up here. You know, of course, the mom down at the bottom, Baghead Jason. Jason 3D. Okay, so that's pretty legit. Yeah, okay. You even have a little little baby Jason hanging out down there because he's freaking out because he's about to drown. Okay, this art print, I don't know whoever did it, but phenomenal job. This is so far the best thing in this box. Okay, so last thing, we're gonna pull this out. Uh, well, we'll wait for a spoiler card. I Hopefully if there's one in there. Um, hopefully it's this way. This way it looks like it's going to be up because the opening is. And who is the autograph? Oop, hold it this way. Amanda Bierce. Okay, from Fright Night. Okay. So that's actually pretty awesome. Again, I just enjoy if I can get somebody from a horror movie, 
that has you know an autograph that I don't have, I'm all for it. So this right here is awesome to me. I I got this box for 15 bucks. So this right here is way is more, well, I should say way more, but more than 15 dollars. You know you have the pin. You know this is a cool prop replica, but I mean it's literally just a piece of wood with some glass in the middle of it. So that's okay. You know it's a cool kind of throw in. But then honestly, I mean the autograph and the print really sell it for me. Um, let's see if there's a spoiler card. It looks like there is. Let's, okay. So I'm not gonna do it, but there is the QR code. Um, it kind of gives you spoilers, I'm assuming, what's in the box, scan the code, see the options. Uh, you can also view past boxes and get spoilers through there as well. So, okay, so it looks like it's literally, they just upload a picture of every single box on there and you can kind of go through spoilers and look at it, so, okay. That's fine. So, really the real question is, who won? Did Zobi win? Did Bambox win? Um, honestly, I don't really know. I mean, I, I absolutely love this print. So, kudos to whoever did that. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna look up. We, we can look up spoilers. Maybe I'll post it in the description on who did it. But kudos to this, because this is absolutely amazing. I love this autograph, so that's fantastic. This autograph, I'm not a huge fan of the movie, but you know, that's cool again, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, so it's cool to have another autograph from there. The, let's see, we'll do the battle of the pins. I think the pin goes to Zobi for sure. You know, there's just more to it than just, you know, the blonde girl with white eyes, nothing crazy. Um, I mean, I would take these socks over this, and then of course, the awesome new Evil Dead shirt. So, I don't know. I think Bambox definitely has it for the autograph and the print. I think the shirt and the pin go to Zobi. You know, we got a nice, cool, almost throw-in-ish item with some socks. I mean, those are cool. I like the black light look to them. And then you get a cool sticker. Either way, at this point, I'm just rambling. You know, let me know what you guys thought down in the comment section below. Who won? Do you, which autograph do you like? Do you like the shirt? Which pin do you like? You know, do you like the print? I think the print is fantastic. I'm going to get that framed real quick. But either way, we will see you guys in another video. If you like these, maybe I'll keep getting Zobi because Bambox is dead. But I might get Zobi some more. So let me know. See you later.